Uh, I don't really have a lot of time to be concentrating on what's going on in the English channel. I'm actually more concerned about what's going on in like Africa and the Middle East and all that stuff. So I'm just going to keep pushing down south, really. And uh, hopefully... Yep, there are still guys out here. Oh wait! Uh, well it's too late now. We'll make you go there. Um, let's see, how's it looking at in this area? Italy is taking over slowly, basically. Um, I've got divisions that... I'm kind of a bit of a mess right now because all my stuff is kind of just in the middle of, like, Arabia. Which... I don't know why they're all in different armies. Weird. Uh, there we go. And this is another army. Alright, but uh, we'll, move, we'll move these guys up and we'll put a front on Afghanistan. So. And then we'll declare war on Afghanistan and then move in on the Soviet Union eventually. Uh, we do actually have a tank division that's just like going as fast as they can to um, uh, wherever it is. Where's the capital? Yeah, go to Rancun instead. Uh, why would you go through there? I'm so confused why they would do that. Alright, just go around, I guess. This whole war has just been, like, super easy for me. Oh, wow, that's Calvary to me. I didn't even know I still had Calvary to me. Uh, let's see. How oh, the capitulate? So, Saudi Arabia is gone. The UK hasn't even started. Uh, British Raj is pretty damn close. Uh, I'll take South Africa as well, actually. Oh, there's some Germans out here sinking uh, British destroyers and stuff. I've got... Uh, do I have any ships? Let's see. Nah, it doesn't look like... Alright, so my strategy of just going around seems to work pretty well. Uh, how long will it take them to get there? Jesus Christ, 50% attrition. It's so bad in India. They just don't have infrastructure. And we got resistance to occupation in Indian eras. I don't really care about that. Uh, I'll put my occupation policies uh, up in a little while, but I think I, I, I think I'm a pretty benevolent. Uh, I'd love to take that property. Have them move down here. Yeah, they're still distracted. Those guys won't be able to kill all the time. It's a ridiculous amount of doing uh, Hopefully, the infrastructure levels are better down here. Uh, and there are a lot of resources, like steel and stuff. Oh, what? Their capital is over here now? What? Mandalaya? Okay. Um, another victory. We sunk a lot of Turkish stuff. That's good. Uh, another victory. We sunk four, 14 British things. Um, another victory. We sunk some British destroyers. Another victory, wow. That's a lot of stuff we got to There's a battle going on right now. I'm about to sink some more British ship. I think actually, yeah. These guys are, oh no, we're just trying to get superiority in this section of the Mediterranean. Oh, British Raj capitulated. Yeah, there we go. We're just wrecking them. Look at this, the new Persian Empire, it's massive. We could declare war in Afghanistan right now, and there'd be like no consequences for us whatsoever. Actually, I don't even think there's British forces in this province. Then again, they don't have any superiority. I don't think they have any bases left out here either, so. Um, I'm just running down to South Africa, I think, over here. Yeah, I got a while to go before I can get to South Africa. Actually, I might just do a naval invasion instead. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, we have it all around the coast of Africa, so if I just... See, I don't have a port that... I guess I could use an Italian port or something. Uh... Oh, no, go, go in there. Uh, this is kind of a... I've got, like, too many divisions just split up into different armies. It's actually kind of annoying, but, you know, whatever. Um, I guess we could declare war in Afghanistan now, considering the fact that, like, I'm ready. And then we're gonna move in on the Soviets. 
Yeah, that, that's that's definitely gonna be enough. All right, so my guys are finally starting to trickle into Europe. It'll be a little while before they get there. Uh, and when they do get there, I can reassign them. Um, but it's looking okay up here. Germany is actually pushing through the Maginot. Um, oh no, they're going around as well. But it's a complete mess. Oh, wait, are the Italians going? Oh my god, I think they're going to naval invade. Good job, Italy. Good job. You're doing something useful for once. God. Meanwhile, Africa's just a slow grind is all... Does that say German Reich? Africa's a slow-ass grind. And uh, nothing is happening at all. Belgium hasn't gained any land. Uh, and I think we've basically conquered the islands now. All we have to do is, um, where is it? There we go. Uh, we'll just have him head in, have him head in, and then we'll have that, yeah, we'll have that Chloe division go in as well. And we'll drop some planes over. Oh, real honorable guys, we managed to sink six, uh, I think those are New Zealand. I think that's New Zealand, but it might be Australian. Six convoys. Great. Great job, everybody. See, look at this. We got 28 divisions in India. Just in there. Not doing a thing. Alright. You guys attack up here. And you guys attack over here. And then I'm going to disband this infantry because I'm just not using it. Like, if I was Russia, I could understand why I would have all of it, but I'm, I just don't use it for anything. Oh, yeah, there we go. My lads are getting into France now. They're still coming up, though. It's, uh, they're just coming up on, like, this massive chain of Axis warriors ready to fight amongst the, um... Actually, you know what? Am I gonna win that fight? Nah. Alright. We gotta get the close air support out here. See, like, nobody's pushing up here. Look, I'm just gonna walk in and take this province, because there's no soldiers here. You know what? I'll take that one as well. Just to get, like, a bit of a beachhead. Uh... 16 hours. It's not too bad. Alright, how's the push from the... No! Wow! Yep, they've broken through the Maginot. Alright, Paris is about to go. Alright, it's it's over. They've gotten through the Maginot. Uh, and my lads are coming in now, so... Once Paris is out and France is gone, uh, we're gonna concentrate on just... We're not even gonna bomb Britain's submission. We're just gonna hit the beach with, like, five billion guys. Oh, and, uh, we're fighting some Australian lads. It's a lot of Australian ships, actually. Uh, Alright, we've done it. We took over everything. Alright. Alright, so let's get... In terms of naval superiority... Yeah, alright, we'll land over there. Alright. Uh, so let's get these guys all in one base. Preferably around here. I mean, Italy is right there. They're two provinces away from Paris. They should have landed with like four or five more divisions. Because they could have done a lot more with that. Uh, meanwhile... If I just try and rush up the coast... How far away is Paris? Paris is on the other side of the country. Yeah, if I just rush them to Paris... I think they're already in a fight now. Uh, Alright. Alright. Uh, the 18 anti-air probably is not going to shoot down too much. Alright, we got like full air superiority over this place. Uh... 
I don't know why my guys aren't taking bits of land. It's weird. Alright, well, we're just gonna head north to Paris, basically. Um, yeah, no, the Italians are going for Paris, and the Germans are going for Paris as well, and the Persians are going for Paris, so everybody's making their way to Paris, and we'll, we'll probably all just meet up there in the end, eventually. At what the hell's going on over here? Ah, oh, man. I wonder how the Persian Navy's doing. Probably trash. Meanwhile, Germany still has yet to defeat Belgium. I'm still... What is going on? They're attacking from Hungary. Alright, they'll take Prague in a second. They keep... The problem is Germany keeps adding more people to the war that we do not need in the war. And it's starting to actually get... Oh, France actually... Oh, have they taken Paris already? No, but if they take Paris, they're going to capitulate. It's over if they take Paris. Uh... Oh, no, my dudes are going to get there as well. Uh, let's just try and keep the line open. Because we're not... Alright, how long will it take? Uh, this one right here, it'll take... They've got 40% attrition. Alright, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna get to Paris. We're gonna just sneak around the back. They'll never see it coming. <laughs> oh, oh, everybody's gonna reach Paris at about the same time. Because these guys have infantry going for Paris. And this is... What kind of division are these? Yeah, infantry type 3. <laughs> Oh my god, Paris is going to go in a second, though. And then once Paris falls, Belgium will definitely fall, and... Oh, I forgot about Australia. Yeah, that's right. So here, let me get, um... Let's get the lads into position over here. Alright, so we'll, we'll get the port. Alright, so we'll have them... Alright, let's get... Oh, Czechoslovakia capitulated on September 30th. Nice. So, in a little under a year, uh, Germany is going to invade Poland, but we're already at war with the Axis. Alright, so let's just land over here. And that's going to take a long ass time to plan. And does it tell me that my divisions are assigned? Alright, 27 transports. Alright, nice, nice. That's a long naval invasion, so that'll take a while to plan. But once we land in Australia, it'll be easy. Uh, just forget the fact, though, that of the her horrible infrastructure. Oh, wow. Uh, we took Paris, I think. Oh, my God. France just capitulated. Yes! Fall of Paris! Wait, reports have come in of German troops entering Paris. No, those were Persian forces. What? Oh, they gave me all their guns and stuff. Oh my god, did they capitulate to Germany? They capitulated to Germany and Italy? Oh, that's not fair. Alright, hold on. Grab this entire army. Okay, okay, hold on. Let's give them a front line. And... Let's go and wreck the English. Like, we're just gonna murder them. We better have, like, shit tons of war participation for this as well. Uh, are they gonna come across? Yep, no, they're gonna come across. Alright. And it's actually a good thing we did that, too, because now we're starting to lose... Oh, no, we still have it. We have 68%. So I'm actually pretty lucky I got it. Uh, nice, nice. They're coming across. They'll be here in a little under a day. All right. And we should... We're going to capture that air base as well. I don't know what... All right. 
I guess I killed, um, but I'm losing ships. Ah, uh, no, we're actually doing it. My one submarine must be such a high level. Is it, like, this submarine has been keeping this channel alive for so long. Get the repair priority on high. And we'll repair in a minute, but... That, that one ship has been keeping the channel, like, just afloat forever. Oh, we keep losing German submarines. Alright, we're on the island now. Looks like it. Alright, we're just gonna fly into action. Uh, let's just take London. Like, why not? This is the end of the war. This is the end of the filthy British imperialist reign. And what have the Germans done? Nothing. All they have done is conquered a little bit of France and Czechoslovakia. Alright, so let's just take these seven divisions, who are the ones in the landing. And we'll send them up to Liverpool. And how's it looking for capitulation for Britain? They're already pretty high. We'll get the fall of London blurb in a sec. Actually, you know what? My naval invasion for Australia is probably done now. Yeah, alright. Let's just let them go. Uh, yep. Alright, so... If we land in Britain and they capitulate but the war doesn't end, we'll take Australia and all that other fun stuff. It's such a mess up here because I can see all the enemy orders and all the stuff that I don't need. Oh my god, just take Glasgow. Just take Glasgow. They've made their capital Glasgow. They've given up on the war already. Whenever they move their capital to Scotland, they you know it's over. I swear to god if I have to do like a naval invasion somewhere. Alright, Britain is... It should be... Oh, and peace conference! Alright. Um, new Persian Empire. Alright, so... Let's take Saudi Arabia. That was what this whole thing started all... Uh, was it? Yeah, I think it was Saudi Arabia. Alright. And we'll take Kuwait. And we'll take Syria. Uh, I don't know. Should I take France? I feel like I should give France to the Germans because I don't really need it. But then again, France has a lot of resources. So if I want to make the Islamic Empire as great as it can be, uh, we should probably take France. And uh, just, you know, gather up all those points. Uh, I'm not going to let Italy have anything. Though they did do some good stuff, so, you know. I'll let them have, like, the south bit over here. I'll let them have that stuff with the tungsten in it. And then I'll take, like, the UK's bases and stuff. Uh, and we'll just go and take over, like, all of North Africa. <laughs> we get these colonies for free, basically. We didn't even fight for this. I mean, it wasn't even... The world tension is also really high now. Um... So, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and we get that steel. Nice. 36 steel. Alright. Apparently, mainland France is not available to me. Alright, so the peace deal is almost done. Um, I think Germany took this bit. I can't tell who it's owned by. Currently, Germany has, I think Germany's taking, oh, Germany's taking all of France. Oh my god, are they going to take all of Britain as well? Alright, um, and I'm taking just all of the Middle East, basically. Everything I fought for is going to be mine. Uh, Alright, so, this is what happened in the peace deal. Germany, being the assholes they are, took all the bits that I actually wanted off of me um like you know oh I guess I got the tungsten and all that uh I got all of South Africa Germany got this bit down here and they got this bit which really didn't have much uh I did get the steel in the north of Africa and Germany took Britain which I'm a little annoyed about considering the fact that I invaded Britain myself but I guess they had a focus for that uh, we still have a shortage of oil somehow, and we still have a shortage of steel. 
but we were able to annex all of India and now I'm gonna pull all my armies back and we're gonna march into the Soviet Union um, soon but that'll definitely be in another episode because holy shit that's <laughs> I mean the Soviet Union is no joke guys I gotta get all my armies there and everything and the lag's gone now see look the Soviets are massing on my borders as well like you can tell something's up but uh, we got to bring everybody back to the Soviet Union so we can march on in um, and have a good old time doing that. So I'll just drop some front lines. All that fun stuff. These guys are in Africa. I mean, they these... If anybody deserves to be rewarded for their work in this game, it's those guys because they fought in Africa like that. That's just not fun at all to do. Like, I feel so sorry for them for fighting in Africa. It just seems like the w worst punishment in history to fight in Africa. Let's get a line on the Soviets. Soviets are probably scared as hell of me. Um, see any other divisions sitting around? More Chloe division. I gotta say though, the Chloe divisions were like just completely amazing. They did such a good job. Like I don't think I've seen divisions that perform better, honestly, uh, than the Chloe divisions. But you know. All right, so we get overlapping forces there. We should be able to smash through the Soviet border. It's looking like they don't have too much on Poland's border. I can't really tell. Uh, if Germany invades Poland, I will definitely help them out with that, though. 